And the Oscar for Best Picture is presented to Braveheart. A lot of amazing films were honored at the 1996 Oscars. Mel Gibson's Braveheart, Woody Allen's Mighty Aphrodite, John Lasseter's Toy Story, and Kevin Spacey's turn as Roger Verbalkin in Brian Singer's The Usual Suspects. But one film was left out. Director Ken Quapis' Monkey in a Hotel magnum opus, Dunstan Checks In. I am a huge fan of this film, so I have to speculate. Why is Dunstan Checks In so overlooked? Dunstan isn't just a brilliant slapstick comedy, and it is. The characters are actually really clever. And there are a couple of really cool shots. <laughs> but more importantly, the story has a lot of heart, especially because the dad and boy miss their dead mom. You think the same way your mother did. Did I ever tell you that before? Is that good? It was never boring. <laughs> With so many great elements, it's clearly a way smarter film than it gets credit for. <laughs> and definitely way more clever than what the final poster suggested. So I took a stab at making my own poster, which I think better represents the tone of the final film. But the defining artistic achievement that Quapis and writers John Hopkins and Bruce Graham crafted was creating a nuanced three-dimensional character in their titular star, Dunstan. In a lot of movies, monkeys are just treated like the dumb animals that they are. But Dunstan is portrayed with respect he even has a pretty cool backstory about a dead brother. You remember what happened to your brother, don't you? Samson liked to play games, didn't he? Mm. And we all remember what happened to Samson. See, now I like Dunstan even more because I feel bad for him because his brother was murdered by Rupert Everett. <laughs> And like with any great hero, Dunstan faces his own journey over the course of the film. And it's a pretty profound journey, especially for 1996. Throughout the film, Dunstan is on a quest of sexual awakening. The central dramatic question posed is, can a monkey define its own sexuality? When I first unlocked this rich subtext, it brought a lot of things into focus, like why I was horny watching a kid's movie, and why director Ken Kwapis would move from directing Gary Shandling's masterful The Larry Sanders Show to making a dumb monkey movie. He must have connected to these deeply subversive sexual themes. When we first meet Dunstan, he's applauding the kissing scene in The Planet of the Apes. Doctor, I'd like to kiss you goodbye. All right. You're so damned ugly. A layered choice because it portrays a human man kissing a female monkey. Does Dunstan, a male, but also a monkey, identify with the gender or the species? Watching it again, I was on the edge of my seat. Is Dunstan wishing to get kissed by Charlton Heston or wishing to be Charlton Heston? The monkey's exploration of his burgeoning sexuality is in full swing during the springtime Sada and Gomorrah of New York City in March 1995, the same era in which Candace Bushnell was writing her Sex in the City column for the New York Observer. In the film, Dunstan first experiments with a monkey-on-human erotic massage. Oh. Oh. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, that's just how I like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, William, <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> oh, ouch. Oh. <laughs> ouch. <laughs> oh. oh, more, more, William, more. <laughs> but that relationship is not meant to be. It lacks the intimacy that Dunstan celebrates in the Heston Ape Woman romance. So Dunstan searches the hotel for that special connection, disrupting gender norms and reacting against the stuffy, closed-minded thinkers who box in his sexual identity. Then, in a masterstroke of storytelling, a monkey without a lover finds a family without a mother. Dunstan sleeps with dad, becoming a simian replacement for the dead mom, 
order is restored and the monkey learns that sexuality is fluid and that a loving relationship can exist in a variety of permutations. In this case, a same-sex, different species union. The film climaxes in a classic Spielbergian move with Dunstan joining the human clan and the family unit being restored. <laughs> Dunstan Checks In is a beautiful film that, in my opinion, was just too damn smart. The deeper themes were lost on the child audience. Unfortunately, most kids haven't had sex yet, so they can't relate to the idea of a monkey in search of carnal pleasure. And I think adults dismiss the film as a broad comedy, missing the interspecies psychosexual drama at its heart. Oh yeah, and Faye Dunaway was in this movie. So maybe if the Academy had checked in instead of checking out, Dunstan could have attained the glory he deserves. And the Oscar for Best Picture is presented to... Dunstan checks in. Yes. Oh, more. I like it rough. Oh. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Please buy a mug so that I can make more of these. And Dunstan checks in is currently unavailable on Blu-ray. So please contact the Criterion Collection and demand its release. Thank you.